if you could travel back in time, even just a few hundred years, your view of the night sky from anywhere would be incredible. Today, however, there are only a handful of places in the contiguous United States with clear windows into the cosmos. Wow, here we are at the Great Basin National Park at the Great Basin Observatory. And this is one of the few places where you can see the night sky in all of its splendor. We might not travel in a spaceship very often, but if we want to explore the universe, this is one of the best spaceships to use. We're going to be looking through the eyes of this telescope and seeing how we can discover more about the world in which we live. So come along on the journey with us and I hope you enjoy your explorations. Great Basin National Park is rated as a gold tier international dark sky park by the uh, International Dark Sky Association. And what that means is uh, our surrounding area and the park itself is dark, very dark. Um, and that's because we don't have much in the way of cities around us. Uh, cities like Las Vegas and Salt Lake City uh, put off what we call a sky glow. They have a kind of a sky dome where uh, light is being thrown up into the atmosphere and interfering with what you can see at night. Here, we don't have that. We have very little ambient light around. The park itself makes an effort to make sure we don't have extra light at night being thrown up into the atmosphere. And all of these efforts being in the middle of nowhere, us consciously limiting our lights at night, make us have a darker night. Under the Great Basin's dark, clear skies, students and scientists use remote control to open this dome and peek into the deepest reaches of space. Students and astronomers connect to this scope over the internet. They type in the location of an object in the sky trillions of miles away. The motors on the telescope then position it to focus on that object. And a digital camera gathers light to image it. It's like a big bucket to collect light. Here are some actual images from the Great Basin Observatory. A nebula where new stars are forming. A globular cluster of stars like a huge ball of bees. And even distant galaxies far, far away. These small observatories are the workhorse in the astronomy, in the astronomy community and it allows students to really be involved in the scientific process and to be really exposed to how you do astronomical research. Currently, students are studying double star systems, black holes, supernovae, and exoplanet transits with the Great Basin Observatory. You could join them. Learn more. Visit the Great Basin Observatory online at www.greatbasinobservatory.org. Join us to preserve our view of the night sky. It's simple, actually as simple as flipping a switch. <laughs>